Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince. Whoops, strange noise. Anyway, this is Hearts of Iron 3 with, uh, yeah, playing as Romania. Oh, looks like these guys are trying to break out, but they're not gonna break out. They're gonna get the circle and killed off. Actually, we're most likely taking a lot of prisoners as well, I guess. Are we though? Hmm. Yeah. Not gonna go into that more. Looks like it did break through here. Temporarily, we had to retreat, but now we have more units on the front line. This front line is massive. Look at the front line. I've never actually seen a front line this big before. <laughs> to be honest, it's like we. It's like this. That's a massive front line. I could just push here if I wanted to. But yeah, I'm not going to. Just have too many units. I can't afford it. I'm gonna push him back right there. I don't have these territories. Just making it extra weird. Why are we strategically going over there? That's stupid. So we're trying to push his back right here. We have Zaporizhia. He's gonna go push forward here. I don't know why we went in here. But oh well. Because we did, might as well keep going. Here. So they're actually attacking here. Well, good luck with that. Uh, this attack here is also failing really hard for them. But look at this, we've almost lost 500,000 troops against the Soviets. And in total, we've lost far more, I think. What? Oh, I guess it's only counting the casualties against these guys or something, I guess. That's why our casualties are lower here. Compared to... Uh, yeah, but look at German Reich's casualties. Wow. They have, they have still lost a ton here. But yeah, the Ger Germans... We're forcing something ha to happen here, right? Uh, these guys are not coming back right now, which is a bit sad. Okay, so we pushed in, pushed them in here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select one of these guys and I'm gonna send this guy here. This stack is gone. It's really gone now. Okay, I've pushed them out. I can also actually take this and destroy that division very fast. Meanwhile, while, while we take this... Oh, you're not gonna get it there. You're not taking that territory, my friend. These guys are just dead. They're just dead. Crush them here. You're not getting anywhere. Why are you pushing back here? Pulling back here, rather. Okay, so once we even circle these guys, we're gonna open up some nice uh, opportunities for our units. So yeah, Moscow here is still being held. Which is quite crazy, you know. Uh, this this is an interesting front line, but if we are to look at these stats here, the Soviets actually are 23% towards capitulation. Capitulation, which is kind of crazy. Oh, they're trying to pull back. I'm not gonna let them. I'm not going to let you pull back. You're not pulling back from here. Well, please finish this battle faster. Oh, they retreated, so they're not gonna lose any tr troops here. At least not as many as they could have, really. Unless we get here in time, then we might change things. Recruit anti-tank upgrade. Well, that helps a lot. And we can also get the advanced anti-tank, which would help even more as well, right? So can we get the improved anti-air? Not the improved, but advanced, I mean. Not quite. Okay, so the attack here is actually not going too badly for them. But it's gonna get worse and worse, right? Oh, they just reinforced, so I guess we're gonna be pushed back here. Which is okay. I don't know why I'm trying to hold that front though. It's not going too well for us there. Okay. So. So yeah. We just really gotta push through just to push him back there. And that's what we wanna do, right? Come on, guys, keep keep going. 
Okay, so they are actually doing something here, but they're gonna go down anyway. Uh, unfortunately, they're gonna retreat that way, and not the way we actually wanted them to retreat. What? Why did we stop attacking? Oh, I guess these guys didn't actually reinforce properly. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Nope. We want to go push that instead. Look at the, all these call to arms. Just way too intense. Okay, so here we're pushing, and we're gonna get even more pushing power very soon. We should be able to kill some of these guys, but yeah, they're retreating to where we don't actually want them to retreat. Wow, look at these attack bonuses. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna have some of these guys encircled. And now we're gonna encircle even more guys. Very nice. They're trying to break through here, which is something that they won't be able to because we should be able to reinforce. Come on, there we go, we got our reinforcements ready. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kill these few units here. No problem. Now we're going to encircle some more Soviets. And if we look at the stats here, the Soviets should have lost yeah, still a ton of men that they've lost. Really around 1.5, almost 1.5 really. And they're gonna lose even more here. Which is uh, really good, of course. And now, we're gonna take this. We're gonna have even more stuff to deal with. Okay then. All these mountaineers. Kind of being wasted right now over here. Seven divisions, though, so not a ton that uh, are not being used. Anymore. I would, however, like even more troops. And in terms of infantry, we are actually making progress. Making a ton more infantry than before. Our losses are not as significant. But yeah, it's getting worse and worse the more we wait, I think. But I have lost a ton, though. Okay, looks like we're gonna do some... What? No. We also want to do a front line here. It looks like that's not working though. Because it doesn't count as a front line, you know. Which is fairly interesting. Are those Japanese troops? I think they are. Okay, what are you guys doing here? Jesus, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Make a front line here and help you guys. Because Tur the Turks can't do anything, clearly. Okay, I'm gonna have to go push some areas. This is not ideal. I don't like going through here at all. But, I mean, I'm gonna have to deal with these, right? So. Okay, there we go. Yeah, once we push in here, we're gonna have three divisions. Easy pickings. Hmm. I don't want those easy surrounds though. This is very risky, the fact that we have only one guy here. Now finally, we're gonna have another division there to hold the ground. And here, there we go. We should be pushing through like crazy here. There we go, because we have these three divisions uh, taken care of. I'm hoping I'll be able to... Yeah, there we go. We got there really fast. And the org is dropping massively. Even another Mountaineer Division also made it here. So there we go. Now, what we can do is the good old attack. An attack. There we go. That's not going as well as I would have hoped. But we're going to be able to surround from multiple angles. Ooh, that's that's intense that they're actually holding out so well but they are in circle now so the penalty should be hurting them massively I think anyway okay so the Soviets are still there it's uh, quite interesting in the meantime we're still holding out here 
very interesting. Oh, it does say that we have... We actually have way stronger forces. Again, very interesting. They're pushing us here. But yeah, we could activate this. And we've killed a ton more troops. So let's just push. Yeah, we got the planning bonus. And look at these pushes. Everywhere it's going so well. Wow. Soviets are just losing massive amounts of men right now. Ooh, okay. Well, now we're gonna lose a ton of our resources because the age of Japan. Yay, Japan. So I'm gonna sit and look here to see if it actually affects here the casualties, you know? Like if you keep this open, and apparently it does because the number just increased. So there we have it. We have our answer. Okay, we don't want to push with everyone though. It's not the brightest idea. Pushing with everyone is a bit wasteful, really. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop with you here. It's a waste again. It's a waste here too. We have exiled divisions. What? How are these divisions exiled? Oh, they. What? They're pushing through? That's not good at all. Why are we doing this? Oh, we started the offensive battle plan, so I guess they just took their stuff back. Because we started attacking like fools. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Meanwhile, nothing is happening here because Italy is being stupid and they can't keep pushing through. But yeah, look at the steel that we need now. We gotta get it from someone. Looks like Germany can start producing steel again, so that's good to hear. So we have a lot of our... Well, we need more tungsten, then, so I guess we gotta get it from Portugal, though. Starting an attack here. It's not the brightest idea, as you can see. The Soviets are actually able to stand up to us, and the more we wait, they're gonna get way, way, way better. Looks like Sweden can't provide us with everything, either. There's some issues here. Not quite sure why we keep trying to push when it's clearly not working. It's not a good idea. We've lost a ton of units with this push. It's being very, very, very wasteful. And this one might work, but yeah. Okay, I gotta help them. Still, some of them are working, but not a lot, honestly. We're still pushing. Because you want that territory. Come on, don't just keep going here. You're just wasting things. But really... Why are you doing this to me? Why are we still attacking the enemy? Jesus. Oh, and clearly there is something happening here. Because the front line broke. Not quite sure what's happening here. But yeah. That front line broke, apparently. <laughs> okay, better stop attacking that territory. So we'll need some resources. Oh, we need tons of tungsten. Okay. Well, we're getting all the tungsten we need. In terms of progress, this one is not looking so good, which is why we should should support right now and they're attacking us here which is fine and yeah there's these there these troops here that are kind of doing things and kind of being annoying okay so now we're gonna get these boys encircled here and i don't know why but we just died here why are we still attacking here it makes no sense but hey we're doing it Free dockyards. I don't care about the free dockyards, honestly. And Portugal just needs to give me all they can give me. Okay, so they're still attacking me here, but this is not progressing the way I want or the way they want. Okay, I'm gonna try and hold this land as much as I can. But what's happening? No game. Don't die. There we go. 
Yeah, there's just so many calculations going on. Soviets have lost a lot, but so have we. I'm starting to wonder if this is even worth it right now. Okay, we're still... Actually, we're defending here, and we're still pushing in some territories, but yeah. This attack here is gonna be good. This attack is completely wasteful, but we're not attacking them. No, we are. Those are actually our troops. We're still pushing where we shouldn't be pushing, though. Which is not very good. This isn't very good at all. Can I still not attack that? I can't attack... This is China! How is this Chinese territory? What? It says it's Chinese territory. Old Gibraltar, okay. Does this make any sense? How can it be Chinese territory? Jesus. That is stupid. <laughs> Look, it's Chinese territory again here. Why is China here? And it's Chinese territory again? What's China doing in Germany? I'm very confused right now. Why does China have these random pockets of land everywhere? Meanwhile, Italy isn't doing anything anymore. They're just stuck here. As you can see, Spain is dying. They're just dying. Yeah, this, the game is uh, confusing me right now, to say the least. We gotta get our reinforcements ready, though. We definitely do. Yeah, this attack... Not quite sure what to say. It's not the attack that I wanted. If we look at this, though... Yay, 29%! So, something is happening. And with our Mountaineer Divisions, we're holding Soviets back for as much as we can, but... This is a rough. I mean, really, seven Mountaineer divisions are not going to be enough to hold, you know. Meanwhile, this is kind of bad because they just took Athens so they can relieve Greece. It's not good. And it's also not my fault, so yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to send all these guys down there for the moment. That's not a good idea because, you know. Actually. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put them on this front line. Yeah. So we have some mountaineers here. Which should help. Having more troops is kind of what we really need right now. And we, we did get Kharkov, though. Oh, we didn't get it right now. Okay, so I guess we got it earlier. I'm going to push here, because once I push here... Yeah, I'm going to move these guys here. This attack isn't being too fruitful. Okay, so once I move these guys here, I'll be able to take those territories. Funny how they're not moving out of here. Which is just fine. Okay, so I'm defending here. Am I still pushing? I'm actually defending here and I'm Yeah, pushing some other territories. It's funny how it says we're so much weaker, but despite being weaker, I'm still pushing them. Spain still holding out is great, but nothing happening here. More free factories, though, apparently. It's a good thing. More improved anti-air. Well, we actually need more infantry equipment, believe it or not. I'm just going to drop this here, and I'm going to make as much infantry equipment as I can, because I just need infantry right now. Please give me equipment. I can't even ask for equipment, and they would never give me. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> they don't occupy anything. So how could they give me anything when they literally don't occupy anything? Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. And uh, I'll see you next time.